Robot Varnak of Making Things Video. Today we're going to show you how to make a redneck barometer or back alley barometer. The idea is you take an old metal can like this and you seal it up real good so the atmospheric changes will cause the can to snap and you'll hear a popping sound when the like that when the can when the barometric pressure changes rather than having a normal barometer uh, this is why it's called a back alley or a redneck barometer because there's no calibration needed however you seal the can is how it'll change the atmosphere so the idea is get an old metal can like this preferably the one gallon metal can size metal cans work best because they can resonate better like that hear that they resonate when they change the atmosphere pressure so you want to clean the threads of the spout real good so get in there and clean the threads real good you want it to have to, it has to have perfect seal you want to keep the air sealed in, in there so if there's any leakage of air it won't work because the barometric pressure will just change and the air will leak out you've got to have perfect seal in there so you're going to use a rubber gasket in there to keep the keep it airtight so first thing is clean the threads off real good if, if you have an old can like this you want to clean and remove any debris or goo from the the thing to get it ready uh, mineral spirits work best because there is no goo once they evaporate the can is perfectly clean so if you have like an old metal can of mineral spirits that works even better you don't have to clean anything like this so make sure the threads are nice and clean the cap also has to be clean this was varnish remover in there added to clean the threads So use a good metal brush in there. You want the threads to be perfectly clean. If there's a paper seal in there that won't work, the air will just slowly leak past the seal. It has to be perfectly sealed. So you want to trap the air inside like a real barometer. Of course, a real barometer has a vacuum, vacuum uh, container sealed so it's even more sensitive to atmospheric pressure but this is a back alley barometer so there is no scientific calibration the only scientific calibration is that it's a sealed vessel of air responding to atmospheric pressure causing a popping sound like that when uh, the atmosphere changes if you take good notes and remember when it was sealed for example if you check your weather report and the barometric pressure was high or low when the pressure changes from that uh, your, your back alley barometer should respond as the barometric pressure changes so try to keep an eye out when your pressure changes If you have any like paper seal in there you want to get all that out of there you want a perfect seal you need room for the rubber gasket you're going to put in there so get the old paper gasket out you're going to have a rubber gasket in there there get the paper gasket out and use a metal brush to clean the cap out so you want a nice clean surface on the cap and on the can so I will wash these out and there now you see the, the threads of the spout and of the cap are nicely nice and tight and it'll get a good seal in there so the threads will be nice and tight so when you put your rubber gasket in there it'll be uh, make a good perfect seal to keep it airtight but the problem is uh, now that this can is wet you want to make sure your can is dry so you want to make sure it's dry in there so water vapor doesn't uh, come into the can and take up more room in the 
sealed chamber. So try to keep the inside of the can as dry as possible. And now you want to make a pattern for the rubber seal. So get a piece of like soft rubber material there and make a pattern for it. Make a pattern. I'm using the outside of the cap so it fits in there nicely. Use a nice soft but firm rubber so the when it's under compression it won't let the air through. So and use a pair of cutters here. So there's some more hints to preparing your metal can for a barometer so so put the rubber seal in your can like that if it's a little too big just trim some more off of course the outside of the cap is bigger than the inside of the can allowing for the metal bending but as long as it fits I sh should have taken the measurement over the spout. That would have been a lot easier. Because the spout fits into the cap. So take your measurement over the spout of the cap and avoid that trouble of making the rubber fitting the piece of rubber gasket fitting onto the onto the can there. And there now you got your piece of rubber in there. Tighten it onto the cap there. And now when it's airtight you won't have any uh, leakage in there. So kind of bend the can so you hear it resonate like that. So when you seal the can up, now the atmosphere will, when the atmospheric pressure changes, you'll hear the can pop. And if you're in your shop or somewhere in your home, it will uh, let you know the barometric pressure is changing. Or a good funny thing to do is to make these cans up and leave them around the house, especially if you have a uh, house guests do scare easily. It'd be a great uh, prank to uh, pull on them. When they hear the cans popping, they'll think the place is haunted or something. And they'll ask you what's going on. You say, I don't know. I, you must be hearing things. So that could be another thing. You also put them, use uh, food containers and put them around in the kitchen. And uh, when the little lady uh, hears them uh, popping, you can, you can say, what's that, dear? I don't know, honey, you must be hearing things. You better go see the psychiatrist again. Well, that's it for now. You get the idea of how it works. Now you can go out there and make your own. So come again for another Robot Varnick video, see, because you never know what you'll see. So come again next time. That's all for now. Goodbye.